This is an update to a previous video that I did about uh, advanced birdhouse building. Um, and I've kind of, this is pretty much the same as it, as those, but I made a few improvements that I wanted to mention. Uh, but just to reiterate how I kind of came to this design is I wanted it to be pretty simple to build using dimensional lumber that you buy at the store and I wanted it to be at, so, that, so that it had ventilation for the birds and I wanted it to have um, a door in the back so that you could clean out the birdhouse and I also wanted it to accommodate a camera in the top so that you can watch the birds as they build a nest and have babies. So um, basically the the way I build it is I first I build the sides um, and the sides are about a foot and a one foot and a quarter inch tall in the back and they slope down a 15 degree angle. So I built the two sides that are exactly the same uh, length and then I build the bottom which is uh, just a little bit shorter than the width of the birdhouse which is five and a half inches so the bottom is about five and a quarter inches which makes these ventilation holes when I attach them. So I attach the sides to the bottom first with screws and I like to use screws because sometimes if I want to modify the house I can I can easily take it apart and do something and put it back together whereas if I if you use glue you can't do that so also with the sides a, a simplification to some degree that I made is the camera shelf and the mesh flooring that holds up the the nest so that it has some more ventilation is I, I 3D print the shelf and this flooring now so that it makes the woodworking easier because you can just saw a slot in the sides and a simp the printed shelf for the camera this, whole, this is designed for a blink camera and the mesh will just slide in. Whereas before I was, I was having to route out the the slots for the camera especially so that it would fit. And also there was a fair amount of routing to create the, the um, camera shelf in wood. Um, so I designed this camera shelf on it with Blender and now that I have it I can just print it out. It takes a, it takes a few hours to print out but uh, it's easier for me to do that but so any anyway after uh, after I attach the sides to the bottom I build the front of the house and I measure it to fit the sides and to leave and also leave a little ventilation gap at the top and again this is screwed on so that it's easy to, to take off and you can make the whole size, I usually make the whole size between one and one eighth inch and one and a half inch. Um, that, usually that usually accommodates the songbirds I like to, to uh, attract. Uh, I also saw these curves in the inside to create a, a ladder so that uh, the birds can use to, to get out easier. Um, then I just attach the front on and another addi addition that I made is I 3D print the doors and the reason I do that is because I wanted to get more light into the house so the camera footage would be better or the video footage would be better. Uh, I had tried using plexiglass to get more light inside and that does work well to get the light inside but the birds seem to be confused by it and they sometimes try to come into the house from the back and they also 
fly up to the plexiglass and try to try to figure out how to get out and it's confusing to them and they don't seem to use the house at all after a while so i switched to this um transparent uh, petg plastic for the 3d printed doors so that lets quite a bit of light in um but it's not see-through so the birds don't pay as much attention to it and they don't try to come in through these doors um i also printed the doors in two different pieces so that uh, the bottom door is used for cleaning out the birdhouse and I can leave that closed if there are birds inside and then the top door is, gives me access to the camera where I can change the battery without disturbing the birds too much. Um, so and I, and I designed these on, with Blender as well so it has holes already pre-made in the plastic so that the screws will go go in the right place to, to attach the hardware for the latch and the hinges and that way makes it pretty easy to put together so then after I mean after the doors are on and the latches are on I I build the the roof of the birdhouse in, with two pieces of wood so that uh, that's the only thing that's glued together and the reason reason I do that instead of just using a single piece is so that it'll overlap the, the birdhouse on those, all sides and that helps keep the, the water out of the holes and the ventilation holes um, and it provides some shade too so the the roof screws on as well and it uh it looks nice this way i think uh but just another word about the the wood i use uh i, I typically use red oak wood which is really nice um and flat and in right dimensions uh, i've also used uh cedar one by six with which um in my in my case is a cheaper choice uh and cedar also lasts well in the in the weather but it but it's a little more it was a little more warped in cup so i had to so the birdhouse itself is not quite as as square and straight but it doesn't matter so much for a birdhouse um so yeah yeah anyway this uh these are two pretty much the same birdhouses uh that I built uh, one out of cedar and one out of oak.